Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be giving you an introduction to the program called Corel Draw X4. Now, unfortunately, it is not an open source program like uh, most of the others that I've given you tutorials for on this channel. It's made by Corel, obviously, and at the moment the full version costs about $350. There is a free trial out there, however, which I'm using right now. It's a f you can download it for 15 days. Uh, but let's let's be realistic. Most of the copies out there come from torrents. <laughs> but uh, whichever way you get it, here's a basic overview. So over here on the left, in the left sidebar, we have our basic tools that you can be using most often. Uh, over here, the uh, one, two, three, four, fourth one down. Uh, we have the basic line drawing. Uh, in this little triangle uh, on the bottom right, we can click on it and then use these different tools. So my favorite one here is the Bezier tool. It's um, very easy to uh, draw and then edit later. I prefer it over the other ones, uh, even though the other ones have uh, uh, their advantages. But here we go. Bezier, let's just make a triangle. Uh, we can fill it with the color bar over here. Uh, and to edit it, we go to the second uh, button here. There's different edit options here, so we'll just click shape, and now we can just drag the nodes around. Um, and to make these lines curve, do you right click on one of the lines and then press to curve to give it this curved uh, edge. Um, uh, a cool thing about this program which makes it very useful and very um, handy when you're tracing an image is that you can actually uh, snap the nodes from one object to the other, which I'm about to show you. So we ha here we have this little other object and now if we want to shape and now if we want to drag this node we can actually connect it uh, it snaps to the nodes of the previous objects. Well, uh, of course, you can turn that off if it's bothering you, um, but it's very useful to have when you're, uh, especially if you're tracing something. So let's just snap this to here, and to curve it, we just can just curve, and then the curve actually snaps to the edge too, so it's a perfect uh, fit in the curve as well. It's very useful. Um, Alright, let's move on to the fill options here. So let's select this. Uh, one of the bottom ones, a second from the bottom, is fill. There's several, several different types of fill here. There's just uh, a regular fill, which is just one single color. There's a fountain fill, which let, lets you choose different types of filling. There's radial, linear, um, gives you a gradient. And that's very useful. And another cool thing, which you won't find in many um, in many other uh, open source programs, is that you have a texture here. You have preset textures that you can pick from. So it's just purple haze that looks good. Uh, so here you go. We have a texture that is preset. We don't have to make it at all. It's there. It's very useful. Um, and of course there's patterns and you can make your own patterns, uh, but that takes much more uh, hassle. Um, that, uh, that's the basics here. There's other tools here like making shapes, you know, um, ellipses, circles. You can add text. Uh, the text here is very versatile also. Um, and there's more effects up on the top, like adding effects. Uh, there's a wide variety of them, and you can do a lot with this program, and I could probably be making this tutorial uh, till next year, um, to, if I want to cover all of them. But this is just a basic overview. I recommend playing with this program, testing out the different ones. It can seem like a lot <laughs> to start off with, um, but you can get the hang of it, I think, pretty quickly. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you. This has been Kremlin for the tech.